Hi, my name is John Storms, and today we are going to play around with Lightorama Standalone Visualizer. So I'm going to create a new visualization because I got all these cool pixel Boss Koyo Chromo Flakes, uh, which are going to be these pixel snowflakes that I add to my display, and I want to add them into my visualizer so they look just right. All right. So my first step is I need to go get some pictures. And let's see, I think I have them on my D drive. Yep, here they are. Alright, so I'm going to do... Let's do this one. Okay. And I say, yep. And this is what size do I want it. I mean, the image size is just huge. Really, I only need something that's about... 700 wide because I'm not going to use this very much. Okay. Alright. Okay, so I saved this. This So now this is its own visualization file. But I'm only going to use it temporarily. I'm just using it to set this up. So I go over to this button and this is draw a pixel string. Now I have 48 pixels, but I'm going to have two left over, so I want to have 50 pixels on here. So normally you'd be tempted to start going, you know, pixel to pixel to pixel and drawing this, but the problem is when I'm done, half the time I end up with 49 pixels and I want 50. So after a bunch of tries, here's, here's what I came up with for that. So what I do is I just draw one big line all the way around the perimeter just trying to stay out of my own way like this alright so now I say the name of the prop I'm gonna call this my boss Koyo chroma flake and how many pixels right here 50 so I click OK and create as a new fixture yes and so here it is over here okay now when I click on it it shows me all the points that it created <coughs> When I click here, it shows me how many there are. So it gave me 50. So instead of zigzagging around now, I just did this and it gave me exactly the number I wanted, which is important because I want to put these where they go. So I highlight the fixture. Uh, let me click back here. Let me find one. So one is down here in the corner. Someone's trying to call me. Okay come down here so one starts in the corner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one and I'm going to move it to where the first pixel is going to be and I'm lining it up more with the hole than the actual pixel then I grab the second one the third one and so on now when I do this this is the order that I need to go in every time and already I've messed up did I so how do I want to do this I want to go all the way around. So the thing is, when you do this, you have to do it exactly the same every time. See, I fear I've already messed up. Yeah. Okay. Move this guy. So that's one. And this will be two. And this is the time to get it right. See, and I actually have done it, so I actually know what it's supposed to look like. Okay, just cover one, two, three, and then four is over here. Okay, so now I go four, five. See, and I'm just keeping out of my own way, so I make sure I don't grab a pixel that I've already used. Six. So, so I'm just I'm just moving the pixels to exactly where I want them. Just working my way around the snowflake. And on this one, it's easy because you can just go from one to the other to the other. There's one of them where you have to, there's some place where you have to skip a hole so that you have a way to come, a path to come back. Let's 
say that, so we're just working our way around. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like I've already demonstrated. If you make a mistake, you can grab it and then move it back. I like this way because before the uh, visualizer picked where it was going to put the pixels and it got pretty close but it wasn't exact and then like I said it was giving me 49 instead of 50 pixels. The element is 48 pixels but strings are 50 and I don't want to cut off the extra two pixels just in case someday I want to use them for something else. Plus there's the connector. I prefer to salvage that if I can and keep that on there. So I'm just going to have the two extras, probably just put them underneath the snowflake and or stick them in the middle and not use them unless I'm doing something like house-wide and I want everything twinkling or as bright as I can get. I just want to keep my options open. All right. Getting close now. Oh, 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 I just messed up. Okay, you should be here. You should be here. See that? Very easy to deal with at this point. When you're sitting there drawing the lines and trying to get everything perfect, it's it's kind of a pain. But I think you just give yourself enough, you know, enough distance, then let it plot it out and drop them in there. So now I have two left over. So this is my 49 and 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick them just off the edge here, just like that. Okay. I hit save, and if I come over here double-click on this it tells me that it's on universe one starting pixel whatever okay starting pixel one and you can change this to, to be whatever you want so let me so let's leave it on universe one let's go to the sequence editor and take it for a spin sequence editor okay so I'm gonna change this to oops, click OK Make this a little bit more nighttime-ish. Put this into simulate mode. And then we come over to here. We're just going to create a quick animation. I'm going to right click here and do insert device below. And then it's going to be a DMX universe. It's universe one. That's exactly what I want. And I want, I don't want channels. I want pixels. So you can say, give me 50 pixels. Just like that. So that is my snowflake. So if I expand them, there's all the channels. And nope. Yes. Just do a quick little test pattern. Whoops, did it wrong. Swap. Let's have it go blue. And for grins, let's do some twinkle stuff. We'll have a switch over to green. Okay. And then for grins. Have it chase a bit. Okay, so, so I come back over here, say play sequence editor. You see that? It all works. Okay, stop sim. So that's kind of nice, but you know, most people's display is more than one snowflake. I'm going to have a whole bunch of these. So what you can do is you go over here to go to edit and nope. File, sorry, file. All right, 
I'm looking for export. Oh, that's right. It's in here. So I open this up and then click export. I'm going to call this Boss Coyo Demo. See? And it saves that. And you can say save it without the data. Yep. Okay. So now. save this, but I'm not going to use it anymore. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my main display and I'm going to say, hey, I want to import a fixture. I find my Boss Coyo demo and I pull it in and voila, there it is. Now it's way too big. So I just grab this corner and I pull it down. Oops. Oops. Whoops, I pulled it too much. Pull it back up. See, I need to be able to grab this guy and pull him up. Pull him down a little bit. Move him up a little bit. Pull him down a little bit. Move him up. Size him down. Alright. I think I'm home free now. So, oops. So all I'm doing is I'm just resizing him down. I don't want to keep the proportion about the same too. See, but I move him down like this to a normal snowflake size. And then I can go stick him wherever I'm going to stick him. Let's say I stick him right here. Okay. Uh, I can come in here. I can rename him. All right. So this snowflake here is normally named uh, T1 for top and he's going to be on universe 19 and starting pixels 1 they try to get you to not pixel pack so it's really hard to say hey I'm going to have an element that starts with a universe a new universe in the num in the middle um, and honestly pixel packing leads to problems down the road if you try to renumber things and move things around it could get really complicated so I click OK so that's now universe 19 so I come back over here. Let me collapse this. And I say, let's add a new universe. Insert device below. This is going to be universe number 19. 50 pixels. OK. And because I'm lazy, I'm just going to take this, copy it, it copies everything in that entire group, paste it, and now I go back here, put it in the simulation mode, and then hit play, and see, there it goes, it's doing its thing. Now DMX1, which I had programmed over here, there's actually, that's part of the tree. So that's what we saw a little bit of that. So anyway, that's how you create a uh, nice little custom element in Lightrama. And then, of course, you can share those files with your friends. Now, I'm using these Boss Koyo uh, Snowflakes. And there's uh, four different ones, but there's only three different models because the three and four are the same. And uh, I'll post those up on Google Drive so anybody wants them can grab them. Okay, that's it.